Good morning my loving Tiffany Thinks family, how are you all? I'm all ready to go to work, I am only doing a half day today which is brilliant because I did book in to do some full days and some half days so today is my half day so excited about that because the day goes super super quick I'll be home for lunch um, so I'm not packing anything with me, I'm just taking my work bag and I'm going to sort out my hair because I don't like it when it's kind of right in my face like this because when I'm working it kind of gets in the way so I'm going to put my hair back um, but I just wanted to come on here and say good morning I'm all parked up and I am early so happy about that. I didn't do my morning meditation today but I'm thinking I'm going to do a bit of breathing exercises in the car. Before I go in um, I'll just do five minutes of that. It's not that I feel really anxious or anything but when I do some sort of breathing or some sort of meditation I do feel really really calm so I'm thinking yeah I'm going to do that in the car. Right, I'm doing the five minute mindful breathing on Spotify. Close your eyes or softly gaze ahead. I've decided when I get home, I'm going to make a chicken toasty. I think that's what I'm going to have for lunch. Or maybe just, um, <laughs> I'm thinking about food. <laughs> it's not even lunchtime yet, but I am getting a little bit hungry. Work's been really nice. I've got I had someone cancel their appointment so I've got a little bit of time. I need to sort out some emails so I'm going to do it now whilst I have this little gap but I was thinking about food and I'm thinking I might not do a full toasty and put some bread in um, the toaster and just put chicken. Do you know what? The fact that I'm thinking about food just shows that I'm really hungry. Amma is coming for lunch as well so she is vegetarian at the moment because she gave up meat for lunch. I might do her, make her a tuna, tuna toasty or a tuna. What I'm gonna do for Amma, I'm going to treat her. I'm gonna go to Joe and the Juice and get her the tuna sandwich that I had with Matt. If you watched my last video, you know what I'm talking about. Basically, that sandwich was incredible. And I think Amma would really appreciate it because it has avocado in it, tomato in it, and so I'm gonna buy Amma that. That's gonna be my little treat for Amma. I just looked back at that video and I meant to say Amma gave up meat for Lent, not Amma gave up meat for lunch. <laughs> it's so cold. Um, I finished work and I've ordered the tuna cardo sandwich from Joe and the Juice. I didn't get myself anything. This is just for Amma. I'm gonna make myself a little something something when I'm at home. I've got all the ingredients and um, I know Amma's going to be obsessed with this sandwich, so I feel like I've been thinking about food for the past, ever since I got into work. <laughs> Happy with your sandwich? Yeah. <laughs> you only share. No, no. This is for Amma. This is Amma's sandwich. Um, she said that I was going to have half, but I said I don't want it because this is for her. This is my sandwich filling. It doesn't look like much. It's just chicken breast salt, pepper and mayo. Yeah, it really doesn't look like much, but it is yummy when um, you have this with bread. <laughs> it's a lot later, Amma's gone. She came over because she needed me to do a few admin bits for her. Um, so that's all done. Just boring bits and bobs that needed to be done and I helped her with that. Now I'm going to sit here with my work diary just to kind of tick things off and try and figure things out. I don't want to book and do too much till I get my results. So, so I'm not really planning anything in April yet, um, but I would like to kind of get things in the diary. Um, Amma said just to wait, she said just wait, although we know it's going to be good results, it has to be good results because I'm eating, I'm hungry, I'm, I feel good, I've put on weight, I feel fine, so I know I shouldn't be scared to plan things, but there's just part of me that's thinking wait, just wait, there's no rush, um, so I'm just going to sit here with my diary, 
sort bits and bobs out. It's nice to kind of have, maybe I won't write things down in a pen, maybe using a pencil, just so that I've got, I'm manifesting good things, you know, rather than, you know what, instead of writing it in pencil, I'm just gonna write, write things down in my pen, with my pen, and so it's really putting out good energy and really trusting the process, you know? I feel like if I write, write plans down in a pencil, it just shows that I'm, I'm not 100% certain. Instead, I'm gonna write things down with my pen and that way we know nothing bad's gonna happen. <laughs> I'm gonna make some peppermint tea and just read. I think I'm gonna have a moment just to read and just so now until Matt gets home. Um, I'm not entirely sure what the plans are for dinner. We were thinking about going out for dinner and just having kind of a date night, but I'm not sure. We didn't finalize anything in regards to dinner. I think it will be nice just to kind of have a little bit of a dinner date kind of vibe, dressing up, doing my makeup, getting all ready for a date night. It would be really exciting. I guess it all depends on what time he gets in and then we can kind of go from there and decide. Nothing is kind of set in stone. We're both really flexible, so we'll figure it out. You know how I've got the Tiffany Thinks Book Club page on Instagram? I've had so many book recommendations and even on YouTube, I always get a comment that says, oh, you need to read this book or you need to read this book. Honestly, I'm so grateful for all of your recommendations. And I got a few books that I ordered, so I'll show you. These two were on offer and loads of you told me to read this. Um, it's called The Housemaid by Frieda McFadden. And when I got this, they had an offer, kind of get two of these from the same author. Um, so this one is called Never Lie. And this is the one loads of you recommended me to read. So I've got those two. And this was another recommendation and it's called Twisted Love. I think this is a series. It says, he has a heart of ice, but for her, he'd burn the world. Thank you all so much for all your recommendations. So these are the three books that I got and I'm so excited to read. I have been reading so much and it's so good that I've got the book club page on Instagram because it just means that I can look back and see what books I've read and what I thought about it. It's honestly been amazing um, because I always go through phases where I'm obsessed with reading and then I take a break. Usually if I find something on TV, like something on Netflix um, to watch, then I kind of put reading aside. But what I've done is it's good to kind of take a break from the screen and watching TV. And you all know, I kind of sit on my desktop and I edit and I do bits and bobs on the computer. So it's a lot of screen work. Even when I'm at work, I'm looking at a couple of screens. So um, it's nice to kind of shut off and just read a book. So um, I really, really have been enjoying it. And it's also really nice having the Instagram page because where I'm posting on it a lot more, the Tiffany Thinks book club page, it's nice to kind of be able to go back, even at the end of the year, to go back and see how many books I've read and what books I'd recommend. And I also do a rating out of 10. So really nice to have it all in one place on Instagram. And for those of my Tiffany Thinks family members that enjoy reading or want to talk to me about a book or recommend me a book, it's nice that you can go on that page and leave me a message and I can buy the books that you're reading. So I know some of you told me not to buy the book and to download it, but I'm trying to do less on the screen. So I don't want to get a Kindle or a tablet where I don't want to read on the iPad or my phone. I'd rather, I like holding the book and I like putting a little bookmark and seeing how much of the book I've read and how much I've got left. And sometimes if I fall asleep, um, reading a book. I don't know. I just, I prefer to hold the book. I don't know what it is. I'd rather hold a book. I have had a Kindle in the past, 
um, but for me I do prefer an actual book and just actually go through the pages. We ended up deciding on going out for dinner so I quickly just retouched my makeup put on this dress I've got tights on there yeah I've got tights on because it's still really really cold it's the evening time so I thought tights is a must excited to eat some food I never vlog in here this is kind of the bathroom <laughs> We're all parked up. There's Matt, he's all ready and I'm all ready. Do you know the belt? I don't know if you, if you watched my videos, um, you know when me and Matt went to Paris and he took me away for my birthday, he got me a belt. So I've got that on today. So it just feels like a extra special evening. I am so excited. We're, we're somewhere we've not been before, which is nice. We did have to drive a little bit to get here, but we have been recommended this place. We're gonna have a Chinese. I'm gonna show you little snippets of the food, but I'm just going to shut off because I'm gonna spend some time with my darling. So I'll see you in the morning. <laughs> this one is so Yeah. Does it? Yeah. Oh, yeah. That's lovely. <laughs> Good morning, my loving Tiffany Thinks family. How are you? I haven't picked up the camera in a couple of days. I think the last time we spoke was when we had date night. I think I showed you a few bits of the food and yeah, I haven't picked up the camera. It's been a few days now. We honestly had such a lovely evening. I think it was nice to go out to eat. We don't go out a lot, um, or to eat anyways, just because we like, I really like Matt's food, um, he makes the best dinners and I'm truly, truly lucky to have someone who loves cooking and experiments and makes tasty food, so we don't really go out a lot for dinner. We had Chinese food, which is something we don't make at home and it just, it was so, so yummy. It didn't feel greasy, it just felt really, light and I didn't eat too much because I wanted to eat a little bit of everything and I just wanted to kind of even the vegetables I was eating it and just really chewing it down because it just tasted unreal and um yeah we need to do more date nights we said this it was just really exciting to kind of get ready and just get excited to go out for a date night so we do need to do it more um today matt is off as well and matt, i'm off too so we're just going to have a bit of a chill day we need to do the food shop um and i want to do a bit of cleaning so i might start the day um just cleaning a little bit i don't need to do a lot because the place is pretty clean what i like to do is during the week um i like to do a little bit throughout the day so it doesn't kind of build up so I just need to, I want to mop the floors and hoover. Yeah, it's not going to be a massive clean because the place isn't messy. It's just kind of wiping things down and sorting out these side tables. I'm going to do that now actually so then it's done. And I want to clean the study as well, just kind of organise the table. Okay, let's do this.
breakfast time. Also, you know when I said I'm gonna get up and um, clean? I didn't, I actually read my book and then I okay. decided, yeah, when you went to have a haircut, I was like, I'm reading, reading. Then I got up and I decided to clean. Um, Matt made breakfast. We've got oats with pears. Is that right? And cinnamon. Mm -hmm. Oh, He uh, fried the pears, is that right? Mm. I don't know what he did because I was in the other room. Oh. Is it good? <laughs> Cheers. I was saying to everyone, we don't go out to eat a lot because mm. I'm so lucky that I've got you, that you're just a great cook for me. Look, look at this. This is restaurant quality. Why would I go out to eat when I've got this at home? Mmm. Mmm. Is it nice? Mm-hmm. What needs to change? Nothing. Did you put cinnamon as well, yeah? On the pears. So good. I love the pears, it's soft. What did you do? Put it in oil? Butter. Mmm. Mm. A little bit of butter and cinnamon. Mm -mm -mm. What else does it need? Strawberries or berries. Mmm. Blueberry. Like a cold element. Mmm. We're gonna go do a food shop and sort out all the food bits. We need bananas as well. Okay. Mm -hmm. I would pay five pounds for this. <laughs> Honestly. How much would you pay? Well, I bought it recently and it was about five pounds. Mm -hmm. I bought one recently and it was about five. Right. Is that where you got this inspiration? Yeah. Mm -hmm. They had seeds as well. Nuts and seeds, I think it was. Mm -hmm. Breakfast all done. That was very, very scrum diddly umptious. It's so nice to have the windows open and just let fresh air in. Even though it's a little bit cold this morning, I just thought, you know what, it doesn't matter. Get the fresh air in and I've opened up all the windows everywhere. So, a little bit of a breeze. I need to get ready for the day. I look like this. I need to go wash my face. We're going to, I don't know if you watched my Vlogmas videos, is that the time we went there? It must have been, right? I can't remember exactly when, and I'm pretty sure I vlogged the whole thing. But basically, there's this cake, it's called Lemon Feather, and it is incredible. I haven't had it in a long time. We drove to the coffee shop, and they didn't have any more Lemon Feather, because it's so popular, it just sells out straight away. So you need to be there really first thing in the morning. It's now lunchtime, and we've really, we really crave it, and so, we're hoping they still have a slice left. Um, before you could call and leave a little order and say we're coming for a slice, like leave it aside. But you can't do that anymore, so you have to go in. Um, I can't even explain to you how yummy this cake is. It's, has it got meringue in it? Or am I making this up? I don't think so. It's like lemon, oh, it's, it's, light. it's light and fluffy and you put it in your mouth, it melts in your mouth. And I haven't had it in a really long time, so I'm hoping it hasn't changed. And it's, you know, imagine they change up and hopefully they still have some today. I don't know if we're gonna have it inside. It just depends, because it's lunchtime, it's probably gonna be super, super busy. So we might do a takeaway kind of situation and have a coffee at home, but we'll figure it out when we get there. Excited. I just got a little notification on my phone, right? And I had a face-to-face -face appointment at the hospital for my results and they've changed it. So I just got a little notification to say it's a telephone call. So we know that means it's good news. So I think it's in about four or five days we, um, we get the results. I'm actually not worried about it at all now because they would never ever give bad news over the phone. So where it's been changed, we can just breathe. And I was saying to Matt yesterday that I don't like thinking about the results, but now I actually don't need to think about it at all. Um, here we are, we're gonna go to Juliet's. Is it too soon to celebrate? I'm actually really happy. Darling, are you happy? Yeah, it's good doing great news. <laughs> Is it there? I don't think so, darling. No way. Mm. I'm not convinced. Hi, Hi, uh, we did a takeaway. Yeah. Well, we're looking for. Do you have the lemon feather cake? Oh, no, it's been sold out. Oh. We've been walking. 
walking around and it's actually been so lovely. I was so close to buying this art piece, um, but then it was just one of those impulse moments. And if I still think about it, I'm going to buy it because there's it two, week. not a week, I'll give it a month because it's quite expensive <laughs> because it's from the actual artist. So I'm going to have to think about it before I kind of commit, um, but it's gorgeous in there. Also, guess what? I'll tell you when I get in the car. Um, what did you buy? Just this small bag, yeah? <laughs> that one? Yeah. <laughs> Matt went to another shop when I went to Space NK. So I bought a few bits. Um, but you know when we went to get the lemon feather cake? Guess what? It's what, half 12 when we walked in? Sold out! Sold out completely. And Matt was like, how long, when was it last? What did you say? What was your question? What? You said, when did it sell out? Like what time? Oh, they no, said no. 20 minutes ago. So that means we need to get here before 12. That means I we think, need to get here for no, breakfast. When we've got a day off, we just need to come over. First thing in the morning, o'clock, 10 we need to be there second, first yeah. thing. When we went in, I was looking through the window, me and Matt, we both like peeping through. Matt said, I don't think it's in there. And I said, nah, <laughs> they must have like a big cake because it's kind of weekday. So Shocked. you wouldn't expect it to be sold out by a half 12 right and yeah that's how good this cake is where people are coming in even on a weekday to buy it and it's sold out every other cake was there so you got like lemon slice lemon loaf you've got orange cake there's other cakes but the one that everyone wants is the lemon feather i did instead get a banana loaf um i know it's a little bit boring because i can make banana bread at home banana loaf at home but i wasn't craving anything else because my our mind was set on the lemon feather so and then i popped into space and k went into anthropology as well but didn't get anything there then we also went to this like art shop and honestly it was just so nice walking around and um there was one i'm going to be really honest with you i would have to remortgage my whole house to get that's how expensive one was so i don't know that's really really too much but there's another little cute one that is more affordable but still quite expensive so you need to think about it a lot and think about where it would go because um that's important as well imagine remortgaging your house for a painting not needed also the bits that i got from space and k i'll show you when i get home because the car is moving and um i'll just show you when we're inside. Oh, we need to get milk, don't we? Yeah, we need to do a food shop, but should we do that in the evening? Yeah, let's go home. We're at home now and we're chilling out. I feel, you know when we got the email to say that it's changed from face to face to phone call, immediately we were just so happy. And we just spent a long time on the high street, just walking around, going into the shops. It's a really lovely time. I need to show you the bits that I got. Should I do that now? Yeah, let's show you. I was just lying down on the sofa when I got in. Right, let me show you quickly. I went to Space and K. I feel like it was kind of a celebration, even though we haven't got the results. It did feel like a celebration kind of moment when that message popped up. So I got a few things. If you watched my videos a while back, you will know my favorite lip gloss ever is this. It's the Rare Beauty um lip gloss in nearly <gasps> it's the wrong shade oh no i was meant to get it in nearly neutral this is the nearly mauve i've never tried this one i think i've picked up the wrong one okay it's still a really nice color let's try it out oh my goodness my favorite one is nearly neutral um this is a mauve colour. Hold on. Do you know what? It's actually really nice and it's going to go really well actually with this lipstick. I got the Hourglass lipstick in the shade um, Sparrow. I've never tried any of the Hourglass lipsticks but the girl in the shop I asked her, what lipstick have you got on? And she said it was the Hourglass one. And I swatched a few of their ones. The one she had was kind of a really bright color, but it suited her skin tone. I got this one, which is a really neutral shade. I'll show you, I'll swatch it on my hand here. I've never had an Hourglass lipstick before. Um, I love the packaging. I just thought, I'll show you. I just feel like it's the perfect neutral color. 
and um, when I go to work I thought this lipstick is just going to be my work lipstick and it's a nice lipstick so I'm going to keep it for work. I'm still shocked that I picked up the mauve but it's fine because in my next celebration I'll get the nearly neutral. What, is, what happened was my nearly neutral lip gloss in um, it's I don't know if I told you, the Rare Beauty Nearly Neutral. I lost it. I looked everywhere. I even told you guys. I said, guys, I've lost my favourite lip gloss. Some of you told me to check in bags and coat pockets. I checked everywhere and it's just missing. And any time I would put on a lip gloss or a lip balm, I would always think about the Rare Beauty Nearly ne Neutral one. And I would think, oh, I really want to get it. And then I just couldn't justify buying it because I'd lost it. But today, it felt like a bit of a celebration, so I got this. Um, the mauve colour, these two together will work really well, so maybe that can be my work lipstick combination. And then I got this. This is the NARS Laguna Bronzing Powder in the shade 6. I actually wanted to get um, a liquid kind of bronzer, but I wasn't sure which one sorry that's my phone i wasn't sure which one to get and i didn't want to buy something just for the sake of buying it so i need to do a bit of research on liquid bronzers and blushes but i got this one instead this is just a bronzer for just for the warmer months i thought this will be good and i like using bronzer on my eyelids as well as like an eyeshadow base so I was saying this to my friend earlier, I go through phases where I'm obsessed with makeup and sometimes I'm like, I don't want to wear any makeup, I don't want anything to do with makeup. I'm going through my loving makeup kind of phase right now, again. <laughs> so, this is the packaging. Ooh, this is the bronzer. Nice. It's got a really nice mirror. Look at my lips. <laughs> <laughs> we were out longer than we thought, right? We honestly thought we would be there for... We thought we were going to go to Juliet's, okay. get the cake, and then come straight home. But that wasn't the case. But it was so nice walking around there, wasn't it? And where it's kind of not the weekend. Usually at the weekends, it's super packed out. And it's always busy. So it's nice to go when it's a little bit quieter. Right, I'm going to show you the cake that we got. Um, hold on. There you go, that's it. It's just a banana loaf. I'm not gonna lie, but you know when they said, sorry, we've sold out on, of the lemon feather, I promise you, I thought Matt was gonna cry. I honestly thought he was no, gonna no, cry. He was just like, what do you mean? It's, you sold out completely? And she was like, yep. Yeah. Um, but I was like, oh yeah, don't worry about it. We'll come back earlier next time. And I was trying to, because I don't want her to feel bad because it's not her fault, it's just so popular, right? Um, let's try this. This is going to be good. It's just not going to be as good as the lemon feather because I think the lemon f um, feather is gluten free. That's why it's so light. No. Nah. Is it vegan? I don't think so. No. no? I think they just use more egg whites. Mmm. As light as a feather. This is nice. Mm. It just tastes like a cake. Okay. It's, it's okay. Yeah, it's lovely. It is a lot later, we still need to do our food shop, so I'm going to write a list. Oh, this is just some trousers that I got from m and um, and I'm returning it. Reason is, I don't actually need it, I've got so many kind of work trousers that I just, I think I bought it in the moment and then I came home and I thought, I have got so many work trousers so i don't need another one so this is going back but this is a really good one from m and i've got a couple of these it's the m and slim ankle grazer um and it's just kind of plain trousers but they look really nice on i don't know i might return it yeah i'm gonna definitely return it that's why i've still got the label on because What if they discontinue this and then I'm gonna be, should I just keep it? I don't know, I might keep it because imagine they discontinue this. I don't think they would because this is kind of in their permanent collection. 
Right, I'll have to think about it, but... Actually, no, you know what, I'm definitely returning this because I don't need another black pair of trousers. So that's why that's sitting up here to remind me to return that. Right, let's write a food shop. I'm going to write down everything because we need so much. We haven't done a big food shop in a long time and we're going to big Tesco, so it just means we can... We need kind of everything, so we need bread, milk, fruits. I'm going to do blueberries because tomorrow I'm going to have oats with blueberries squashed in. <laughs> oh, hiya. <laughs> Anything you want to add to the list? It's my next bottle. Yeah, I need to, that hand wash. <laughs> hand wash. It is so much later, guys, honestly. It's it, hand wash like it's got a fashion, isn't it? Yeah, I do wash my hands a lot, a lot, a lot. Um, yeah, we have had such a kind of lazy... Since we got back, we've just been lounging about, which is nice, but I would have liked to have done the food shop a lot earlier. Uh, what else, darling, do we need? Uh, sourdough bread. Sourdough bread. The Jason's one, isn't it? Yeah. Oh, guys, sourdough bread. The Jason's sourdough bread is top tier. If you haven't tried it, you've got to try it. Dishwasher tablets. Dishwasher tablets. Making pasta tonight. Pasta and chicken. Easy dinner. Um, and it's quick as well. Do you know what? I'm going to go into the kitchen and see what we need. I need so dark now and also someone kept singing so much i promise you the whole time he was singing down each of the aisles it's because it was nice and sorry it cut off when we were in the car i didn't have enough storage i was just saying that matt was singing um i think where it was so quiet he was just singing and shopping and yeah it was just a fun time um we didn't rush it, but now we've come back and we're really, really hungry. We're going to have a quick dinner. Right, I'll be really honest with you. We did a big food shop. No, we didn't buy that much at all. Darling, do you think we bought a lot? No. I'll show you what I'm most excited about. Um, this, dishwasher tablets. This was on sale, £5 per bag. So that's a bargain. Coconut water, super excited about. What was that? Yogurt. Mm -hmm. Is it splattered? Yeah. Uh oh. That's okay. That's fine. That's okay. The yogurt just splattered, but Matt's got it. And what else am I excited about? <laughs> I'll show them. This is what Matt's excited yeah. about. This yogurt. He's going to have this on the way to work. Yeah, so that perfect. you can just do. I feel like this is for kids. Like, you know, those little pouchy things for children. Sucky. Is that what they called? Suckies? It's high in protein, 30% less sugar. Ooh. It's actually, I think it's actually a really good snack. This is quite good. But you could also have this at work as a little snack. This is passion fruit, mango and papaya. I guess this is exciting. Lovely. A little something different. Uh, you know what? The rest are just essential. Milk, bread. Butter. Butter, apples, blueberries milk so yeah we didn't get a lot a lot so i'm surprised at how much it came to really surprised at that do you know what that we, just, got barely anything. we hardly got anything it's crazy darling for how much we spend are you shocked because i'm actually really shocked you know what? it is what it is i'm gonna end this video here because i feel like it's gonna be a super long video and we're just gonna have dinner and I just want to kind of shut off. So thank you all so much for watching. I love you all a lot, a lot, a lot. My Instagram, Facebook and TikTok is Tiffany Thinks. If you haven't subscribed, please subscribe and join my loving Tiffany Thinks family. I think I said that already. Um, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.